All right, so number 26. It says give the major elimination product. So here they give us this molecule. And they're treating it with sodium hydroxide and heat. The name of this product is 1S, 2S, 1 iodo, 2 methyl cyclo hexane. And we're using a strong base. plus heat, so that's going to give us an elimination reaction, E2. Now, <clears throat> uh, in number 25, we had most substituted, right? Uh, the most substituted alkene was the major alkene. There's a couple things going on here. Uh, unlike before, so there's no, there's no double bonds, right? There's no double bonds to push like in number, what was that, 25 actually, number 25 in the series, right? Um, so the OH attacks the alpha hydrogen in in the anti axial conformation there's also and I'll get to this there's also slow minor products are formed through sin transition state. And I'll get to that in a minute. So here's our molecule in the chair form written out. Right? The the eye is coming out at us, so I just put it in the the axial up position. Because that's the only if that's the way it's going to be eliminated. Well, mostly, usually, which is for what we're going to learn about in a second with the the major, the minor products. Now, um, here, now before, if, if there was like a double bond somewhere, here, where's number twenty five? Here twenty. Here on number twenty-five, right? There was a double bond that could be pushed. We, we took, we took this hydrogen, which made a double bond here, and made the most substituted, and then it pushed this bond, which pushed the bromine off. We don't have that sort of environment here. We don't have any double bonds that we can push. This is a one-two uh, cyclohexane ring. That was, that was a, what was that? A three-six. That was a, a 3-6 cyclohexene ring. So this is a different environment. So creating the most substituted alkene is just not going to work here. So it's going to go through the route that is probably most easy to see. It's going to come, take this anti-axial hydrogen, which will form a bond here, which will break off the, the iodine. And it's going to come down here, and we're going to get our major product. Which, when written in traditional form, is going to look like this. Notice here's the double bond, and the methyl group is down. So when we write, the we write it in the flat version, we got the uh, double bond here and the methyl going down. The name of this product is S4 
three methyl cyclohexene. All right, so then I just want to talk about the minor products. There are minor products. And it's interesting to know because so minor products come through our slow sin transition state. All right, so what we need to know here is that anti-confirmation of the alpha hydrogen is preferred but not necessary okay it's it's preferred but that's not the way it has to be so here we have our molecule that we started with Now that can undergo a ring flip. And we can get, when we undergo a ring flip, this was iodine uh, axial up. So it's going to, then it's, if with a ring flip, it's going to become equatorial, oh, equatorial up. And CH3, it was equatorial down. So with the ring flip, it's going to become, um, Oh, no, this is axial down. So with a ring flip, it's going to become equatorial down. So here we write our new molecule. Not our new molecule. This is the ring flip. All right, so this, this iodine is not axial, but it is possible. It's just not preferable for the hydroxyl group to come up and it can go well I wrote this let's make this path a path a take this hydrogen which will give its bond here to create a double bond and the iodine will break off or it can go through path B and take the hydrogen the hydrogen that's right here which will give its bond right here make creating a double bond and pushing the iodine off so Again, there's no anti-alpha hydrogens, but elimination is possible, just not preferable. That's why these are minor products. And there's gonna be two, right? So route, okay, route B, this route that we went, where we took the hydrogen from here where the methyl was attached, creates this molecule and it's more substituted, right? The alkene. More substituted alkene. So it might be the major of minors, right? This alkene right here is one, two, three times substituted. Path A, which was this path, created this product. And that's less substituted alkene. So it might be the minor of minors. That's just kind of a theory, but I think it makes sense. 